So the next story is of a woman that I'll call Ursula. Ursula was from a really large family, and she was one of the younger siblings in a really large family. And so because of her position in the family and because of cultural norms and traditions, uh, she found herself uh, in her 20s taking care of her uh, ailing parents. And unfortunately, that was without a lot of support. Coming from a large family, she longed to have a large family of her own. And she certainly felt pressures from her aging parents to start that process. And so she got married, and uh, she got pregnant, and she miscarried, and she got pregnant, and she miscarried, and this cycle happened for some time. She went to experts, and she was very frustrated. She couldn't figure out exactly what was causing this. At a certain breaking point, she decided to withdraw from her role uh, as full-time caregiver for her, her parents. She decided to practice regular yoga and meditation, and she decided to become more intentional about exercise and diet. Uh, and after several months of doing that, uh, she got pregnant again, and this time she was able to carry the term. So can I say that uh, her diagnosis is absolutely positively 100% uh, stress-induced uh, gynecologic issue. I don't know that anyone can say that positively, but when she reduced her stress and got back on a more uh, healthy lifestyle pattern, she was successful uh, with her goal of starting her own family. So what really struck me about Ursula's story is that even Jesus stole away. And so if, if, if the Christ needed time to be able to pray and meditate and recuperate. Why shouldn't we? Again, if Jesus Christ needed a break, if he needed to steal away, if he needed moments of solitude, if he needed moments of, of meditation and prayer, why shouldn't we? And so we should be open to that. We should take advantage of that. We should make that a part of our priorities. And to that extent, what I would also add to that is the sense of mission. And I think it's important that when I approach stress in my own life and when I'm consulting with individuals, I try to start from a point of priority, that we should all have a mission in life. We should write down the salient points of that mission we should develop priorities from that sense of mission. And we should triage those priorities in terms of tasks based on their importance and based on their urgency. There are some important and urgent tasks that must be done now, and there are some unimportant and non-urgent tasks which maybe we shouldn't even do at all.